know, Shaka healing word. Yeah, but you were waiting. You might need to yeah. press it again if you... Okay. Twelve. I cast the healing word. That's it. Seven. Yeah. <gasps> and Aaron just like gets up and she just kind of like lies there for a moment and looks over. Like to her right, at the now dead dragon lying there, and she goes over. And she looks over at the uh, Hagen and Rima. Like slowly, like crawls to her back to her feet, and like just, like starts walking over. Yes. And she just. Flat, like she just looked at them both she can't you know she's and she's just she just collapses on top of them uh, you know she can't she can only collapse on top of one and she, so she just first it's like hogging and she just starts like bawling I know no, it's not. You can't. You're not supposed to die. You're not. It's not time yet. Rima, Rima. What about all of the trouble we were going to get into? We can't go now. We have so much left to do together. So Arthur goes and does his best to try and comfort Aaron. Offers a few words about Haugen and Rima. You know, while they, he had only known them for a short period of time, they were great friends and how their uh, sacrifice won't be forgotten as long as uh, Sir Arthur lives. As you cry over Haugen and Rima's corpses, the thick glacial snow that you're all lying on seems to melt, and a tiny bit of greenery peeks through. And uh, I'm going to go head over to Key, because someone's going to have to give him the news. What's going on? Is Key it's conscious? Snow. Oh, key, I think key, that... key is stable, but he's unconscious. Okay. So what's, what's going on with the greenery? The snow seems to be slowly, slowly melting. And greenery is peeking through. Uh. Uh. Making a wet grass bed for both Rima and Hagen. As the seemingly glacial environment seems to melt around the dead dragon. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna take them back to town. We're going. We. They deserve proper burials. It's the least we can do for them. Aaron, Arup, I'm sorry to interrupt the grieving. It looks like the snow is melting. We should probably make sure the horses are on land before the river goes. 
without words. Arab. I, I can't even RP. I'm in shock. You and me both. Yeah. Revival art. Arab, Arab picks up Rima's body and takes it to the cart and begins to turn it around. And Aaron, like, like Arab does this, like, Aaron seems to, like, cling onto it for, like, a moment, like, almost hesitant, but then Just she... Just one thing. You know. Rima's on no. the still been open and gazing out, and, uh, since his, uh, sorcery was, uh, just a little bit on the undead side almost. He's uh, his gaze would almost look like it, he was just looking up because his eyes would have uh, normally been kind of bleak and dull, and even in death. But Aaron would have. Aaron would have closed his eyes for him. Also, I'm gonna go cast cure wounds on uh, Key. Or didn't mean to double click. Yeah, he's knocked out for the fight, but you know, he's you you sense that he's breathing and stably, and you know. Oh, so he's just unconscious. Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up key. Aaron uh, eventually kind of wipes, kind of like wipes her face away. Hold on, I want to read that real quick. And Aaron looks over to, uh, oh, goes over to Hog and, and places a hand on her shoulder, picking up his blade. She says, the honor goes to you, big guy. She takes the Hoggins blade over to the dragon uh, and beheads it. Takes a little while, but it seems almost like you feel ten times stronger. As you would think it would take you 20 cuts, if not more. It takes you 3. As as it almost feels the heavens are helping you cutting it off. And she's kind of doing this to honor Hog, and it was his blade that, that would behead the dragon for them to take back to the city. You know, I, I did say... You know, she... Once, once, once she's done, she cleans the blade, gives it back to Hog, and and and, hold, and it's just like we did it, big guy. We won, didn't we? Feels empty almost. This is no victory. This is but one enemy slain, but at what cost? At what cost? An Arab just. We should probably falls inform. Completely silent. We should probably inform his sister that he's passed. Okay, sister, I mean. Let's get back to the city. I've had enough yes. of this place. You and me both. Can I see as most of the snow and everything starts to slowly melt and drip? Seeming maybe slowly but surely returning to normal as the greenery that has been hidden away peeks forward. Also, you know, while they're packing up the cart, Sir Arthur strips off some of the, uh, like, I don't know, one of the big sheets or something and just, uh, covers Rima and Haugen each, just, uh, a little respect for the dead, you know? And wraps the dragon's head in something. 
It's a quiet trip back. Yeah. Arthur isn't a very outwardly emotional person, but you know you can you can definitely tell he's been affected. Just he he looks his age, if that makes sense. Instead of being a thirty-year-old man in the body of a sixty-year-old, slowly feels the weight of uh, it all. Aaron's just. Super, just quiet the whole time. Nowhere is, is her chipper self. Like, she lost the two people she's known since the beginning of this all one day. Like, two people who were her, some of her best friends. Aaron, you've known them longer. I'll let you handle the funeral arrangements. Okay. I'm just saying, as a GM, I'm still living a, a revival arc as a possibility if the players wants to. So I um, want one. But it said it's not just a spell on their back. It's you know a quest, uh, an arc basically. Could we could we do a a two for one revival arc? Who knows? Maybe. Okay. Well, I think we're done with this scene. Yeah. Just give I'm us gonna go to, fucking uh, cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, for you, I <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Most people know you as a new player to the campaign mess, but you've been kind of attached to every character for a long while. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. That was. That <laughs> what was, the fuck? That was a bummer. Like Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> My God. I. I just... You know, these are the people. I, I don't even know. What I, you're I don't. Saying. I. Don't... I don't understand how you expect me to 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 play a, a fucking game when you toy with my heart like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The, the real game is Mads toying with us all. Well, you know, sometimes negative things have to happen as well, and you know how well you can affect people is a bit co uh, how good you are as a GM, or and you know. It, it, enough with the game talk. Enough with the game talk. I'm I'm having a, a fucking emotional moment over here. Okay. Oh my god. I had to play him You're sincerely. Dead. I I got like ten mo thoughts that I should have fumbled or you know fucked up the role for him for you guys. But in the end, it's a dragon. You cannot fumble the roles of a dragon. So, but he was really low for a really long time. Like. The bleeding made him sweat, or me sweat, a lot, because... Alright, listen, I, I don't know, I think I mentioned this, I was actually, my heart was actually racing, I was actually a bit, like, shaking, uh, that last, my last turn, and that's, that's not something that happens often, uh... Dude, I was so scared about those rolls, like, I was like, oh my god, please roll well! Also, I like... <laughs> I, I like that I did. Oh god, I went overboard with damage because I was like, no, this is, he, he definitely has more health. Sax is fucking with me. <laughs> well, at the very least, it made it for a climactic moment. But like, okay, like I'm not gonna lie, that very ending where you know, like that ending where you know, Aaron, you know, runs over to 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 to, to Arthur. Sho shoves a potion down his head, shoves those, uh, shoves his crossbow in his hands to just, like, end it! And then, like, runs to, like, form a distraction. And then... The dragon takes her down, she says, now, and... He fucking fires at it. Yeah, that could be a cool... You know, from the ground. That could be a cool, uh, comic moment, I'm just saying. 